and call to order the meeting, June 26th meeting of the Montpelier Planning Commission. Uh, first, we have to approve the agenda. So I'll take a motion to approve. And you're ready. I'll move to approve the agenda. Okay, motion from Ariane. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second from Maria. Those in favor of approving the agenda, say aye. 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 Okay, agenda approved. And we will move on. Comments from the chair. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything uh, new. It looks like we're, you know, going forward with, you know, our summer plans. I think things are moving along like we kind of expected to get through some of these things. Um, does anybody else have any meetings or up, or any uh, updates or anything? Okay. Um, I did have one question for Mike, actually. Um, I'll, I'll just do that now. Uh, so, uh, Mike, we had talked about um, some um, I, ideas uh, that, like some of the stuff that came from Habitat, like including like the state program for, um, for expansion centers. I don't remember the name exactly. But I just want to make sure that we're we're still planning on including that in the zoning changes that are coming up. Is that correct? Yeah, there are going to be a number of other changes that are in the zoning. Um, but the public input meeting that we're you know the whatever we want to call it that that input meeting that we want to have in July is really about. Um, kind of having the conversations around the housing pieces, but there will be a bunch of other pieces in there. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. I just, I just wanted to, I mean, I, I, I thought that we were still on track with that. I just, I, we hadn't talked about that in a little while. I just wanted to double check in. Um, okay. Can I just, sorry, can I just jump in where the habitat changes, like expanding the downtown district or what were, can you remind me what they were? Uh, there's a, there's this, the state, I mean, I don't want to say that this has directly anything to do with habitat. It's just in my mind, it's connected because habitat is something that would be useful for the habitat project. But, um, uh, there's a, there's a state program and, and Mike can explain more, but it's, it's, it's just a, a growth center thing that, that kind of eases some of the state regulation for certain projects. And, but, but cities are partly in control of deciding where those places are. Um, oh, do you do, anything else you, that, you're referring to doing the NDAs, the neighborhood designation areas. Right. Neighborhood designation areas is, um, uh, is it neighbor? Yeah. It's neighborhood. Cause yeah, it's about, it's about residential development. Um, yeah. So is it, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, I just, uh, I'm curious whether, I mean, whether we'd want to add it to the bridge if we, I mean, it is it seems like it's related to housing to me um so it would be expanding the neighborhood development area or uh, establishing one establishing I, establishing okay. one because we don't have one but oh, okay. it doesn't Great. actually require any zoning changes we've we've done our review wow. of the regulations we think we're okay we can apply but we're it kind of comes down to the timing. We want to adjust the growth center de designation as well. So we kind of want to package these up into one item. Uh, to do the growth center designation, we need to amend the zoning. The zoning, uh, we don't need to for the NDA. But you can attach the NDA to the growth center. So it, it kind of would save save a bit of work if we had the growth center done already. But we do have a growth center. We just need to adjust some things about it. Okay. Yeah. The country club is not in the growth center, the country club road. Oh, okay. So we need to make an adjustment to add that in. Yeah. I mean, to me, that seems worthwhile to add to the bridge draft. And um, I did correspond with Evelyn a little bit from the city. And I think what I drafted is a little bit short of what, a typical short commentary for the bridge might be. So anyway, just might be worth putting that in there, seems to me. Okay, yeah, 
that's something to keep in mind and um it's going to be on the agenda so um what i'm hearing is we could we can think about some other things to include um sounds good all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna move on, on the agenda unless anybody has anything else in the um comments to share arena Uh, next on our agenda is uh, comments from the general public. We have none present online. Do we have any present in person, Mike? No. Okay. So uh, no one's present for comments uh, or general business. So then we get into what we were just talking about. Ariane drafted a bridge article for us to review. Uh, I went in this morning and... I don't think I really left any comments myself. Um, does anybody else, does anybody have anything to, to, to say about it? We have Maria and we have Gabe. Go ahead, Maria. Um, I'm only just realizing it's not a Google Doc, so I can't, <laughs> you guys haven't seen anything I've done. Um, I made tweaks here and there throughout the whole thing. Um, um, so I don't know what's the best way to, to share them with all of you. Uh, how about we just, we make a Google doc out of it. Do you want to, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Share? I'm terrible with Google docs, but Maria, can you put it in Google docs or, um, let me see. Well, maybe Gabe can talk while I'm trying to do this. All, okay. all I, just, I was going to say was thank you, Ariane. I thought it was well done. I didn't, I, I didn't tweak anything, but I just appreciate you putting the work in. I just, yeah. I just made a folder for you, uh, Maria. So you can just open up. I made a folder called Bridge Article. Um, so you can just create a document in that folder. You should just drag and drop. So if, yeah, I think we actually have a, don't we have an out, we have an outreach folder. Actually, let me delete that folder. Just put it in the outreach folder. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it, Ariane, and I, I didn't have any major things to, to add myself, but it is it would probably be good for us to think about if there's any other subject matter we want to include. Well, you know, I was going to ask, too, do you guys usually, um, <clears throat> I don't know if this, I'm trying to envision what, if this is something like a commentary type, I mean, it seems plenty long to me, but I certainly... Uh, adding more topics as we brainstorm, but I didn't know if we wanted to have a, if we can include a graphic or a description of what the design review district is um, for ordinary people uh, who, who may not know what that area town is. Because um, we talk about stuff inside it and then we talk about stuff outside of it. Um, just thinking about putting everything at the elementary school level. I, I think that's a good idea. I think we might have to talk to Bridge about whether they'd. Uh, yeah, we could easily provide them. I mean, we we have the the map for the district on you know the city website, so right. it'd be easy to provide. But if if they wanted to print it, or what how they wanted to do it. Would you would you be okay with doing that, Ariane? Just um, I'm I, like I think it's good to like you know keep you as the contact for this with between the like to be our liaison with the bridge, um, and just discuss with them whether they would like to include uh, a map of the design review district. Yeah, if um, if Evelyn from the city can help me, and it sounded like she wanted to be involved in that process. Um, as you're as you're gathering from my problem with Google Docs, I am like terrible with technology. So if if someone can help me, I'm totally fine to be the contact. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. And you can always just, if you, as far as the map goes, you can, you can reach out to me anytime and I can send you a link to the, you know, to the map on the city website that we would ask bridge to just include. Okay, great. Yeah, just, you know, an overall map to show what urban one, urban two, you know, those, not everyone knows the districts in town because their proximity to the downtown is going to help the argument, right? A lot in, in, in a couple of cases here. Yeah, the other conversation that we might want to have about the article is, so when we were talking about this, we were initially talking about, you know, maybe July 10th having this meeting with the public and then July 24th having kind of a city plan kickoff meeting. Um, the one issue that comes up is that the bridge is, by the time we need to send the article to the bridge, I don't know if it's going to be, I think it appears on the 12th is the next issue. So we might need to push our schedule out one, one set of meetings. So that way we would be doing the zoning on the 24th and then the city plan on the August 14th. I don't know, if, or, or something, or we can push to an in-between week or, or, pick a special date or something else. There's other possibilities. I think tentatively that that should be fine. Um, I think we had planned to possibly not meet in August, but if we know that there's not too many conflicts, if we can still get a, a quorum for August 14th, we could go with that plan. And if it turns out we don't, we could, you said that would be the city plan meeting? Yeah, I mean, if we push it to September, it just may mean that I'm working with SE Group, and rather than doing four of the chapters, we may be doing, you know, almost all of them because we need to start getting the public hearing process going on those. So, I mean, we may break it into pieces and do four of them on one and then four, four or five of them on one and four or five of them at the next meeting and kind of break the hearings into two groups. I think that could potentially be okay though. Uh, we can, like if we have any more input later, we can still have that opportunity during the public hearing process, right? Yeah. So I think it'd be okay. Cause yeah, I'm, we don't even have confirmation that the bridge will be able to to print this right away, do we? Like we don't have any certainty about that. Or just shook her head. Yeah, I mean Evelyn from the city just emailed and said the submission deadline I think is July seventh for that mid July. So right, they could be they could have a full issue already. Although she told me they're usually looking usually scrambling for articles during the summer because it's more difficult to get there, there's less going on there's usually not much going on in the legislature usually not much going on in the city because so many people are on vacations okay well we can be optimistic that we can get that done but yeah i'll uh leave it to you guys to sort that out yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah, we, we would have to submit by July 7th in order for the edition that comes out on the 12th. And our meeting is on the 10th. So that was the trick. Um, I mean, my understanding is like after this meeting, we could possibly submit just ASAP, right? Yes, but the next article still doesn't come out till the 12th. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how, how early we send it, it still won't come out on the 12th. So if we have a hearing on the 10th, the article will come out after the hearing. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm good with us kicking things back. And then in the meantime, we have um, other things to 
Yeah, and if we get through the more more of the storyboards, and that's more information for SE Group to to continue working on. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. We can also talk about uh, some shading outreach, possibly. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we have stuff to to think about. So everybody good with that plan? Just pushing things back a little bit just to make sure that the bridge article lines up with our public hearing instead of being in the wrong order. Um, okay. Do we, uh, Maria, do you have a version for us on the drive? Yep. I also just sent a link via the chat, the Zoom chat to it. Did you guys see that? I only sent it to Mike. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not sure well, why. Well, it looks yeah, good. <laughs> Just to you. Um, well, it is there for everybody else. I can see if I can find it. Oh, it's in the chat. So I'd have to adjust the chat. I'm not seeing it in the outreach folder. Oh, did I put, I may have put it in the wrong, I put it in a spot called zoning changes. Okay. 2023. Let's, oh, right. does everybody happy, happy summer. Okay. Yeah. I can just share it from there then. I'll just I've, share it. I've, it's in the chat now or it should be. Assuming I didn't mess up the chat. Okay. Let's just take a minute and review. I don't think all the edits came through exactly as I did them, but. Yeah, Maria, why don't you just go ahead and walk us through uh, okay. what you're thinking and then we'll. Um, in the first paragraph, I wanted to make it clear these were just ideas that we were throwing out there and not amendments that we were really pushing for, you know? Um, so I think that first paragraph I had, I can't see. Hmm. Okay. So my edit would be to write something. I have the comment on the side there. We wanted to provide provide an update on our recent work, as well as highlight some changes to the zoning regulations we've considered in response to citizen requests that we hope to open to public discussion soon. So just making it seem like we aren't completely tied to these ideas just yet, and that we really are looking for public input. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, oh, okay. I, I can't see your comments and I'm just oh really well I don't know why um I'm looking at it yeah I I can't see that comment at least I don't know if it's because it's at the top of the page and I just want to make sure I have your comments to edit it um but I'm not sure why 
It's like a super long comment. Oh, okay. Like now, okay. It was just like hidden at the top. Okay. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, what do people think about do we have a preference for an opening? I know the word that you used at the last meeting was that you wanted it to be a listening session for the planning commission to hear from the public. And I kind of liked the way that sounded. Um, you know, we have some ideas, but this is a listening session to hear what people think. Okay. But I don't know how to work that into what your 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 input I think was was good. I think we would also want to have the date when it says input soon. We probably I think would want to go and put that date of July twenty fourth, just in case the only thing somebody reads if they only read the opening paragraph they would know they would hear the date. They may not read the whole thing, but they'll know that. Oops. I, I apologize. I'm super late. So this may have already been spoken about, but isn't AARP no longer, it's just the acronym now, right? I think it is just an acronym now. Oh, that's weird. So they don't spell out what they are. I just thought that it, was like. Yeah, they re, they re, they re, okay. they rebrand. I think they changed their incorporation so that they're now just AARP. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, I have an idea. I'm going to share a screen and we can just add it at the same time and get it done the fastest that way, I think. Um, okay. I actually lost part of Maria's comment. Yeah. But <laughs> Maybe I can I, add it in. I did add at the bottom here instead of soon for um we will bring the um the part about the listening session on June on July 24. But the middle part we we wanted to provide an update on our recent work. As well as highlights and changes to citizen requests that we will bring to public for input at, in a listening session on July 24. So that's that's the full. And okay, Ariane's nodding like that. It seems fine. Does it seem fine, Ariane? If that's the intro. Yeah, and I think that captured what I wrote down from Summit. So yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Anybody have anything else for that before we go to the next? Try to change the font though. That's not the font, but the other part, or is it? Okay. Okay, next paragraph. Uh, Maria, you have something there? Yeah, I was just, I kind of, I understood what Ariane meant by we will, we anticipate will be completed, but that also sounded very final to me. Um, and so uh, my language is to make it a little bit looser and to say we've been bit, busy working on a final draft of the city plan, which will be ready for public input and comment by 
and then just put the date there. I make saying completed just sounded a bit too final. Mm -hmm. What would be our estimate this fall? Do you, do you have an idea, Mike? Yeah, so uh, we're talking city plan, ready for public comment. Um, I mean, we've been saying July, and that was why we were just talking about August. I mean, if we wanted to say by this fall, I think we would be okay. I would still like to be earlier than that, but. Uh, we could say late summer or early fall. That would that would be fine. Okay. It, was that was that the only thing you have, Maria, for this paragraph? Yep. Is that good for you? Is that good for everybody else? Do Do we want to remind people what this the city plan is? Here. Um, I think that's a good idea. I mean, just uh, kind of remind, we can't assume everyone knows what it is. I'm just looking at my other computer that has it. I don't know what the elevator pitch is for the Montpelier city plan. I'm going to give it a rough stab and we'll yeah, see. Strategic plan. <laughs> the city over the next X years. I know we're early. I think it may be best to make it add a description. I don't mean to totally worry about this thing, but I think it's maybe best to, I like Brian's suggestion, just say something. We've been working on the final draft of the city plan, you know, which is a document that, that we update, what is it, every seven years, um, you know, that outlines the city's, city's goals, you know, for the next however many years in that period. We anticipate that it'll be ready for public comment, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay. Are are you? I'll just I'll just say what you just said, Aaron. Uh, which is or which guides? So you said which which outlines this? You know the city's priorities and um, identifies priorities and and um, outlines. <laughs> Outlines priorities and ways to um, uh, and act on them. It's really spitballing here. What if, what about just saying outlines the city's planning priorities over the next eight years? Yeah, I think that's probably good. That's good. Yeah. I think before Aaron, you said goals, which I liked because. That's how the plan is drafted. Yeah. So like goals and priorities, maybe over the next eight years. All right. Anticipate it will be ready for. Okay. Did we want to? Did we want to for this? I'm sorry, but did we want to? I just was um, noted that. Do we want to? further of the, uh, well, I don't know if we want to be more specific about, I don't want people to be confused about a listening session. And then we talk about public comment in the second paragraph. So is the public comment would be the part of the formal approval, right? The ultimate final approval process for the plan. Whereas the listening session, we're positioning that as kind of an interim, you know, pregame, of a official public comment, right? So 
So public comment itself, right, is a term that's a charged term for us because we know that means that we're going to like public hearings, right, official stuff. Um, yeah, maybe it's more to like um, we anticipate that a draft will be a release to the public by late summer, early fall. Right, like a. It, did we want to shift that paragraph to the bottom, maybe, that second paragraph? I mean, we're, we're opening by talking about the zoning, and maybe it makes sense to just continue with our zoning and then shift that to the bottom as... I was, th I was thinking that, that that's, I think that's the most confusing thing about it. I well, agree. I guess that was one of my questions, too, I had, was our, our primary mission of the commission is the city plan. I mean, obviously, we're doing zoning amendments, too, but I, those came along later. From in my tenure, the zoning amendment. So I, I don't know if this is. So we're we're equally charged that. with both. Just to be clear. <laughs> well, no, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, but I'm sure yeah, we are. We're... I'm sure we are. I just didn't know what we're we're going to focus on out of the out of the gate is the work on the the plan or the zoning amendments. I guess it, from what everything you guys are saying, it should be uh, the zoning amendments because they're going to take more time potentially to explain or they might be more controversial than the plan i don't want the all the work done on the city plan to be lost in the beginning I mean, oh and by the way we're working on the city plan well i mean i will say that I feel like the city plan talk is optional because it wasn't the goal of this particular outreach. Right. It's like, it's actually right. kind of the bonus item. No. So that makes sense um, at the end. By the way, we're still working on the plan. I'll throw it also in there to, to just to signify that different topic here. Um, is everybody okay with doing that, moving it down like that? And that way it's, it's, I mean, I, I just scanning through this, it's like, yeah, with all the rest of this is about zoning changes. So keeping all of that stuff together without interruption, I think makes a lot of sense, especially since it's so short too. Um, but I'm sorry, I've been gone to the last couple of meetings. This, the focus of this, um, I guess, notice and the paper is, is primarily what the the zoning changes and then yeah it's just it's a notice into the single listening session mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah that's the goal of this one is about about the zoning changes like housing in particular i mean there's there's gonna be a bunch of different zoning changes that we're considering but it's like this one's focusing more on the housing stuff that uh will be suggesting uh change in that case, again, yeah, I think it makes sense to just at the bottom of the, uh, to sort of say at the, at the bottom of this, just, you know, we also want to let you know that we're continuing to work on, uh, you know, we continue our work on the city plan, which outlines the city's goals and priorities. And we expect to have that completed, you know, draft released to the public by this fall. And, you know, we look forward to, um, you know, hearing your input as that project progresses as well or something like that. Uh, yeah, um, that's, uh, yeah, that's what we're going for. Um, so Maria, did, did you have more on the second, on the next paragraph? Um, well, later in the paragraph, I just took out, well, I guess we need to change the Vermont Association of Retired Persons just to AARP, right? Mm-hmm. And then I also just, whoa. Um, jump down? Whoa. 
And then I just try to simplify the last sentence. I'm fine with this. Is everybody else okay? Are you on? Is, do you think think it's okay? Or is there something missing from your what you were going for? Ah. There's a bunch of stuff on the screen covering up buttons. But I was it's gonna delete it. And I'm sorry to belabor this, but did we this wasn't the report from CNU and AARP Vermont? Yeah, does anybody else know that off the top of their heads? It's easy for us to find out. We're busy trying to edit, but I can throw Vermont in there if we can confirm. I looked back at the report. It did say, I don't know if it's AARP Vermont or Vermont AARP, but it said one of the two. I can I, I can double check. I, right. I think I think I think in Vermont it's it's AAR, AARP Vermont. I think. Okay. I, I, I'll double check it right now, but I think we plug it in. Oh, you're right. It, that's what it is. I just. Aaron, you're right. It's ARP Vermont. I, I think buttons are covering up what I need here. All right. I did not do what I wanted it to do. I'm missing where I can accept these changes. I think they were comments, not changes. So you just have to hit the checkbox. Uh, or actually, maybe if you hit the check checkbox. Yeah, there it goes. Thank you. That is what I was missing. And Ariane, you're not the only Luddite around. OK. So we don't have anything for the next one. Just to keep things same, I keep going back to single spacing on this. I think that's what, correct me if I'm wrong, but does anybody know, does the bridge prefer double spacing? I don't think they do. Um, So Maria, what was your next? So this was more um, just trying to reflect how Mike described this in the last meeting that, you know, when I went through each of these recommendations, I was just like, wait, are we doing all of this? Or is this, you know, like I'm trying to envision it from an outsider's perspective and it seemed overlapping, you know, cause like, wait, they can double, but then they can also have up to four, like what are all these options? And so make it clear that this is like a menu of options that we came up with, but these aren't going to be, and that they're still in like, uh, we're still brainstorming these ideas. This is just what we've come up with so far. Um, so I think what the, I'm not sure, let me look at what I wrote. So it can just be like the planning commission has come up with the following zoning changes or has, I had is trouble thinking of like is, what language this would be. It, but what about is currently considering the following recommendations or is concern is currently considering 
su like uh, suggesting some uh, or something that captures that. Yeah, we we may do some. We may end up suggesting some, but not all. Kind of ideas for consideration. Oh. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a menu of ideas for consideration. So okay, say so has developed the following ideas for consideration. Or is it I like still so that people understand that it's not all or nothing, you know, this is just they can pick and choose their adventure. Okay, so this is the uh like, like, are we good? I'm going to move on if, as long as are we good with develop the following menu of ideas for consideration. Yeah, is that okay? Okay. Uh, so the next thing is the, the map idea. So we talked about this before. We're going to, Ariane's going to reach out as part of this to see if the bridge will include a map of the design review district with the article I know they have print and web versions I imagine one might be easier than the other for them um and what's the uh, what's the next thing Maria um sorry if you need me to i know i'm not sure about the also's because it makes it sound like i mean i know that we, we are considering all these things and this the, the, i'm going back up to the bullet points gotcha i didn't have a comment here but i was just kind of thinking about it because it made it seem like these things would be done in conjunction with each other as opposed to their again that menu of options idea um but we are also considering doubling the density makes it seem like we are going to be doing this in addition to doubling the density. So I wasn't sure if just taking out also just to make it seem like these are all independent ideas. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm fine, I'm fine either way. I think the also could be considered as a, I mean, I would interpret that as an either or, or a, uh, an and or type, type thing. But, which is, I think, how it's intended. I'm not sure how other people would interpret it. I mean, since we positioned it as a menu, I think the also is okay. What I was looking at was the second sentence of the third bullet. And I thought that you guys said that was kind of like the third rail of zone changes or what happened. That was, that was. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's an incremental step towards, I, I guess it probably is. Um, but also would allow more, more infill of housing, right? I mean, I don't know if we want to talk about eliminating den you, you guys are making me paranoid about a men mentioning eliminating density caps because of what you said happened before. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I think, I think what, from what happened before, I'm too paranoid. <laughs> no, Brian, I, had the same also, I was like, oh, you guys are maybe scared of that. I mean, I could see people coming in with like, this is a slippery slope, you know? So I had the same thought looking through that. So I don't know. In some ways it would be nice to eliminate them. I mean, we know that that's the, that's the recommendation from the think tanks that that's the best way. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to expect. I don't know what to expect, honestly, about about how people react this time around. 
Yeah, I don't. And I mean, we could take that one out. Um, and also, I'm not sure we need the outside the design review district because it kind of is a menu. So we could just double density in all the districts. If they don't, if if the public doesn't select the first option, then we would double the density in the design review district as well. All districts, right. How about taking that sentence out and then just reaffirming that this would help create more housing in Montpelier? Because all the other ones talk about housing. Well, pretty yeah, much. I like this is the pro of doing that. Like that. Well, do we need the potentially? I mean, it would allow for more housing development, wouldn't it? It just, we don't know if it'll actually happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm getting at. It would, it would, yes, it would technically allow for more, but, but would, would that lead to anything? We don't know, which is true for any of these changes when we, we don't know the, the degree to which density is, is stopping development anyway, like by itself, because this is it's a very complicated issue. Should I take out potentially? I would say so. You would. Okay. Are there any other bullet points we wanted to? And are people okay with that bullet point? Yeah, you just need to take out we are considering also in the fourth bullet point too. The commission is also considering that they need to be in there. Uh, uh, what parts do I take out? Because at the top it says the planning commission has developed the following menu of ideas for consideration. Eliminating density caps, expanding the density exemption, Doubling the density in all districts and eliminating density caps. We don't need to put in no. we are considering. Good point. It's a good point. I like the consistency of that. I think the fourth bullet point is also confusing for people who don't know, you know, what urban center one, two, three are, you know, is there going to be, can there be a map of what that means or is that asking too much to have? I'll probably clip down as, I mean, cause they're in the design review district. So a map that shows design review district will show those boundaries as well. I just need to clip it down. Yeah, and I maybe I should just change it to more general language rather than using the names of the districts and just say like currently the area downtown is. I mean, I don't know if that's correct oh, to say. Sure. But, yeah, you know, I was gonna say I th I think it's I think it's helpful to steer clear of as best we can, or at least if we're gonna say something like design review district, say you know the design review district, which you know generally you know located near the urban core of the, of the town, you know, just to kind of give some layman's context to what we're talking about. I'm going to guess that anybody who's in design review is going to know that they're there, but for the casual reader, they want to kind of get some sense of whether or not this is something that affects them or not. And just sort of general kind of location cues would be helpful, I think. 
understanding that they're not on really very they're not particularly precise, but I don't know if that matters at this point. What, what do you guys think about this change? Just saying currently the three neighborhoods that make up the downtown do not have density requirements. We could ex extend this to other high density districts that are adjacent to the downtown. I would just say currently the downtown currently downtown neighborhoods do not have a density requirement. Okay. One sec. You say neighborhood districts. So you said I would just I would just say downtown neighborhood. Like currently, down, the downtown neighborhoods currently downtown neighborhoods do not have a density requirement. Everybody okay with this paragraph then, as it is now? Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. We're being thorough about this outreach. This is a group effort right here. Alrighty, um, Maria. Yep, I just changed some of the language. And again, I think we should change the input session to listening session to discuss these proposals. I just wanted to make it clear again that we were looking for input and that what we were going to suggest really are suggestions and not something concrete that we're settled on. Um, there's a lot of proposal proposed <laughs> in that sentence. So maybe that could be fine tuned, but. Uh, we're, we're saying listening sessions instead of public input or instead of input pu listening, pu public input, but I'm sorry, public listening. I don't know. Listening session or public listening session. What do you think, Mike? I don't know if it matters thing. It just depends how it sounds in the sentence. And I would say we'll be we will be holding listening sessions, not planning them. We will be holding them. Or hosting. That's always nice. Mm. I like that. It implies like be providing cocktails or something, but that's not <laughs> right. People can think that. Fortunately, the wood stove will not be fired up in July. But... <laughs> um, so I accidentally clicked on some of, like, to accept some of Maria's stuff. So I accidentally did that. But um... so I'm not sure we talked about some of the stuff I accept already. But um, so we'll be hosting listening sessions to discuss these proposals. Uh, As, yeah, as well as collect additional proposals from the public before any proposed changes move forward to the official public hearings. People okay with that sentence? You could probably change the additional proposals to additional ideas. If we were trying to cut down on the number of proposals. <laughs> Uh, 
we could probably take out the, the any proposed changes move forward. It can just say any changes move forward. We hope that these listening sessions will be scheduled later this summer. Um, Next paragraph. What's that? Oh, start a new paragraph? Yeah, we're, uh, we are. We I think that that sentence goes up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a new paragraph to be it's starting it. We have also been busy working on the draft, final draft city plan. The, the next sentence is the, is the paragraph break. Yeah, what happened here? I'm... Oh, 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 we've also, okay. All right. Um, how about we intend to schedule? Well, actually it's already been scheduled up top. So we should just go and say yeah. the session is going to be July 24th. Yeah, thank at, you. At the regular planning commission meeting from 5.30 to We could uh, just just a just a note that there if if the bridge in there at least in their web version can link to a to the city website where you can log in to to a meeting that might be helpful there. Just like something that you could possibly bring up, Ariel, when you when you discuss it with the bridge. I'm sorry, what did you say? I was uh, in this uh, where we talk about when the session will be. Uh, if there could be a link in that sentence or that oh, sentence, yes. a link, like at least in their web version um, to the uh, city's uh, web page for, for the public meetings. Yeah, okay. I think, I think that's how most people get into these meetings is navigating through the city website to that page, I assume. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the date up top too, so that we're not, it's like a clickbait thing where we're making people dig for the info. Um, and we're only planning to have one listening session. Is that right? Because it's plural up above. We'll be hosting listening sessions. Oh, no, be, not there. Just not that, that same paragraph at the bottom. Uh, the second set. Yep. We will be hosting listening session. Thank you. A listening session. I, do you think it's worth it to say this at the end also? Um, I 
just might just, just in case. Case. might just say later in the fall just so people don't think that it's like happening we're having a listening session then a public hearing it right after it yeah i just want more people to to people who are familiar enough with public hearings to see the listening session and think that we're just kind of doing a branding thing and calling mm -hmm. the public hearing something else so for them to realize like no this is different Is that okay for everyone to put that? I think um, just tweaking the sentence to make it like active language later in the fall, we will hold public hearings. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd say something like more for, more formal public hearings formal, yeah. will follow will will occur later in the fall. There, try to combine both ideas and keep it active, as Marie said. Is that okay? Later in the fall, we will schedule formal public hearings. Yeah, is it okay? Or, yeah. Okie doke. Uh, That's it. So uh, let's. Um, if I was if I was nitpicking, I would say like we we capitalize planning commission sometimes and and other times don't, and maybe oh, really? it's city too. It may be city too, but I think it's just I think it's just because it was new content. You just yeah. I let's see. I mean, it, I don't know what the AP says about that, but I'm pretty sure as long as we're consistent, I don't think it's a big deal. We're important enough to be capitalized, I think. <laughs> the Royal Commission. Right. The the planning commission. <laughs> I uh interesting interesting English language question here. Uh is it really a pronoun when we talk when we refer to the regular planning commission meetings though? Mm -hmm. Thoughts on capitalization in that context. I would say I would say the session will take place during our regularly scheduled planning commission meeting on July 24th from 5 30 to 7 30. Okay. Think during our regular okay we yeah we have been talking like that and so some of this yeah I would just say regularly scheduled. <laughs> because what is a regular meeting as opposed to a regular one? A special one is the actual answer to that. Well, because we're really having, tend to have the fact meeting. that we're doing a listening session suggests that this is not a regular meeting. This will be a very intimate, friendly. We're hosting it. <laughs> there'll be there'll be cocktails. I know. I thought there were going to provide them. I don't know if there's going to be cocktails. I, I want to start a rumor about that. Um, okay, there we and go. I was just, and I was just thinking, I, I do, I do like the kind of, um, I like the, I, I very much enjoy the, the, the opening sentence, "Happy summer from your planning commission." <laughs> I think it's my peer in, in that same vein, I think, uh, given what we've we've listed out here, I, I, it might be good to the tone wise to say something. We we'd like to invite you to a, a listening session. Um, you know, to uh, in response to some zoning regular changes that we're considering. Uh, as part of a regular work. So something a little more conversational in tone, I think would be helpful. And I think the idea of an invitation as a way to open this up would be a, a nice summer thing to do. Uh, are you thinking is this like a second sentence after happy summer? Yeah, just say something like, you know, happy summer, happy summer for your planning, uh, planning commission. 
um, uh, we'd like to invite you to a listening session um, in response to some zoning changes that we're uh, currently considering. And then to say like, you know, the, that listening session uh, that held on uh, July 24th. And I don't know that we have to put the time at this point um, to say like, you know, just uh, July 24th, and if, they're, if they are interested in the invitation, they will need a bond. And, and I'm sorry to okay, before, I'm before sorry I proceed to this, all this stuff. I just don't have editing privileges for some weird reason in this document. So. It's okay. It's okay. But I'm just what I'm afraid of is like changing it and then people being like, "No, nah, I liked it better before." And I'm like, "Ah, I don't know how to go back." But and anyway, I'll, then, I'll, then I'll stop. Well, we're. <laughs> I apologize. It's too late. It's already started. Uh, we would like to invite you to a listening session regarding some of our recent work is what I have so far. Uh, I would just say in response to some zoning regulations that we're currently consider that we're currently in consideration. Yeah. You guys want me to change this to in response? Mike's nodded. I'll take a single nod. Okay. Zoning changes. Yeah. Yeah. We have been considering period. It's hard to fit in the citizen requests at this point. I don't know that we need to put that in there. It's included later. Uh, I think I liked it here because I wanted to make it clear that we weren't just coming up with this willy nilly or that this was being spearheaded by the planning department or the planning commission that we are already responding to citizen requests for zoning changes. Although maybe I'm being like Brian, I'm just being a bit paranoid about the response. We're new. We frighten easily. I feel like they've teed us up to be paranoid. About I know. I was like, I'm so paranoid. You, should, you shouldn't. Yeah, you, should, well, you shouldn't be so paranoid. It's kind of like getting punched in the face. Like once you've once it's happened once, you'll. Like, I mean, I, it's happened to me a lot. I just don't. Yeah. I wonder. Never felt like by the time on the planning commission, it ever felt like a punch to the face. <laughs> you know? Not once. So okay. I think that's good, but I don't think we need in response in the second sentence then, right? Some of our recent work about our, uh, I don't know, that just sounds confusing to me. I would just say regarding some zoning changes we've yeah. been considering. Regarding, yeah, it's good. Regarding, regarding yeah, some zoning uh, changes. Yep. All uh, right. I like that better too. Okay. Should we call it with this? Okay. Do we have a. I like, Brian, a I like Brian's comment to, to add the Montpelier in front just for this first I mean, planning commission. Just, can't, in, can't just assume, in case can we does, the bridge does get out a little bit beyond just Montpelier. So. Okay. That's, that's fair for the sake of trying to not impersonate the East Montpelier or Barry planning commissions. Yeah. And yeah, they have been an uproar. Yeah. That, be planning yeah, anything. Yeah. yeah. These other city, these other city offices are getting lots of calls, angry calls. Scheming. 
and Barry. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to say, I, I hope everyone on the, on the commission could invite some people to the listening session that you think might be interested in the topic or have ideas or thoughts about zoning changes. You know, I feel like we have, I'm sure we all know at least a dozen people who are curious and interested in this topic and hopefully we can get a good turnout. I think that, I think that's a really great point. And, um, I'll, I'll be mentioning this to some people I know, and I'm going to be even more, uh, uh conscientious to, to reach out to people when it comes to the city council meeting too, because that's like, you know, that's the, the big, the moment of truth time. Um, but yeah, in, any of these meetings, you know, getting the word out is going to, it's going to add value. I would, I would hope. Yeah. Can I, can I just do some, add, add some suggestions to tighten this up a little bit? Okay. Uh, on the second paragraph, we are also planning. We don't, we're not also planning it. It's, it's, that's not really where I would just say we, we will be bringing forward proposed zoning amendments. Or we are, yeah, we are, that we has are, that is new with the fact that we move stuff around. We hmm? we move paragraphs around, which is probably yeah, what, uh, yeah, no, that's what I'm just saying. Um, we are bringing forward, um, and then I'd say and not the AARP. I would just say and AARP Vermont in the second. Yeah. Oh yeah, we never. Yeah, that's fine. We never made that change actually. Oh, but we verified its real yeah. name. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you. And then ARP Vermont permits. I and I, this is just largely. I get wary of plugging like making representations about what a, ARP Vermont and CNU generally do. I don't know that it's our job to kind of characterize what it is they do. I just don't. I always get a little wary about that. Like you don't, assuming, you don't know their mission statement. <laughs> particularly I'm assuming well. that and, came from that came from the letter that they sent to us. I'm assuming that's when I read that. Yeah, I think, okay, okay about then, CNU. I did take off their website, but I just wanted to be clear that CNU was really the one that wrote the report. I guess, but yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Arion. And I, I'm, I feel comfortable since we're using their words to describe them. Okay, that's cool. So then, so then, in the fourth line down in that paragraph, it's, a, it's again ARP Vermont. Right. Um, I was going to take uh, a motion to prove this when we're ready. And at the same time, I just want to say that we should probably include in that motion because because we did do some tinkering here that uh, we should um, entrust Ariane to make any grammatical changes that she needs to like wordsmithing in case there's something we missed before she proceeds to I just want to say that. But yeah, what's, what's it for a motion? Do we want to also say, you know, Evelyn from the city said she would take a look at it. And I don't know if she has some other, you know, we could say like non substantive changes or something like that, that she might. Does Evelyn, do, like, I, I may have missed this. Does Evelyn work in the um, city manager's office? Is that. Yeah, she's the city's new communication director. Okay. So we finally we finally have somebody who is officially a communications director who actually has the background and experience and training in it. So oh, she's, wow. she's very good at what she does. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Um because I, I you know I missed last meeting, so I'm not uh, this this connection between Ariane and, and Evelyn. I missed out on that. But okay. Uh did we have any other changes before we're ready to vote this out? I, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying to get this tightened up as best I can. The first pair, the first sentence in the third paragraph, the report recommended removing the density caps for all zoning districts in the city. I again, this is in line with trying to stay away from technical verbiage and making this more accessible. I think the second the second sentence does a good job of contextualizing what density caps are or sort of defining it and the more accessible way, I would say, like the report recommended removing 
um, uh, moving uh, lim certain limitations on the number of units allowed per square feet, also known as density caps in zoning districts throughout the city. I just, maybe I'm being too, I'm wondering if people will know if that means if they truly don't know, like, you know, if they're coming from a place where they don't know what density caps are, would they, would this, um, hmm. yeah, can, I I, your, can I get yeah, your point? Get your point. No, I get, yeah, I just don't, I don't want to make it a, a crazy word salad to get there. Though. So I'm, uh, there's a balancing act there. I'm just, how about the report recommended removing zoning regulations that limit um, the number of units allowed per square foot? Yeah. Also known as density caps. That's, yeah, I like that. And maybe... Units, I think, is also like housing units. Did you say based on square foot? Is that what you said? Yeah, I think you can delete that section. You have square footage. There you go. Yeah. Um. Or I'd say, I'd say also, also size, you know, instead of saying parcel based on square footage, number of housing units based on lot size. So yeah. people think of things in terms of lots. Okay. That's I like that. Yeah. Number of housing units based on lot size. That's good. That's succinct. I'd say also known as density caps. So otherwise? Yeah, otherwise this sounds weird. It's like it creates a comparison as opposed to a inclusive AKA. Sorry, I just always get, I'm always sort of sensitive to the idea that like we sometimes lose sight of what we know and assume others know it, um, especially with these things. So. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. So we don't need the second sentence or no? Well, I think cleaning up the for all zoning districts in the city. Or is that? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Got it. In all zoning districts? I think the second one still adds some context or like helps fully explain if someone didn't get it with the yep. first sentence. And if I'm oh, correct, yeah. it's, it should be a, currently a certain number of units are allowed per square foot, not is allowed. Units are. What's a certain number is allowed. That's why the word processor is not telling us wrong. The operative isn't the number, it should be units. Number. Let's see if we change to R if it tells us it's wrong. Am I wrong? Oh, about thanks, that? Google. Am I wrong about that? I could be wrong. I'm not a particular. I don't think Google's just very, good writer, very right? picky about grammar. <laughs> um, I changed it to R. Everybody good with R? We don't need to worry too much about that. Okay. So with that, I will take uh, a motion to 
entrust Aron to, uh, well, okay, a motion to approve this article for publication on our behalf. Uh, and, you know, with, um, while granting Ariane the power to make any wordsmithing or grammatical changes necessary to, uh, you know, publish it. Anyone want to make that motion? Uh, I'll make that motion with the express proviso that entrusting Ariane with such power is fraught with. Yeah, I know. I hope it doesn't put her on the path to evil. Uh, so we have a motion from Aaron. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second from Maria. Those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. So that's... Uh, so, to three, four. So yeah, we're just missing John, right? So so six zero vote favor uh, passing. Um, okay, thanks so much, Arion, for your work on this. Thanks, Maria, for uh, your extra review, and thanks everybody else for helping tonight. So it's saved in. Uh, just for make sure we for future reference, it is saved in the zoning changes folder on the Google Drive. Okay, I stopped sharing. Right. Correct. Yes. Thank you. Okay. We move on, on the agenda, which is to finalize approval of storyboard outlines for transportation and natural resources. I have not uh, been involved with this too much, so um, uh, Mike, uh, what, what did what do you have in mind for for this? Do, do we need to just do we need to vote on this? Um, do we? Um, I guess obviously we need to ask people if they have any final comments, but I take it that there was work done in the last meeting about it. Yeah, there were a couple of outstanding pieces. Now that I turned those off, now I got to go find them again. Oh, that's right there, all in Word Storyboards. All right, so I, we went through this one, the transportation at the last meeting. I went through, I believe I accepted all of these. Let's go ahead and this down. Um, link to the complete streets plan, yes. That is the... Oh, on this one, the only change that I had to make for this meeting, uh, we didn't approve it, was we had two committees that weren't discussed. So I added in, we've got, uh, on Pillar has two communities dedicated to transportation, the Transportation Infrastructure Committee and Complete Streets Committee. Uh, MTIC is tasked with advising the City Council on policies and infrastructure improvements related to transportation um, and then the complete streets. So I don't know if anyone wants to take a quick read at those two, that was those were the only two additions that needed to be made.
Anyone have any comments? Changes? No. No, it looks good. All right. All right, looks good. Mike. All right, then I will stop sharing that one and open. Natural resources. So natural resources, we um, I think that's the only piece we need to look at. Yes. So the change here, and unfortunately, uh, so I went through, accepted most of the other changes, and then was trying to work on this plan in context. And as I talk about this, I think everyone else will start to remember it. We were trying to fix this thing. And unfortunately, when I made the changes, I kind of deleted what was already there. So now we're really kind of stuck having to go back if we had to. Um, but the idea was we really wanted to capture the fact that um, the planning context for natural resources is that we are the compact historic settlement. And a lot of what we do is by absorbing growth, we're helping to protect the natural resources surrounding us. Um, but at the same time, we also have some of these, these things that we care about, um, like water quality and land conservation. So I tried to rewrite it, and I don't know if I hit it, but I tried to capture that other sense. So I'll let you guys take a look at it's the stuff in yellow. Where does the quotation come from exactly? That's under yeah. state law. That's 4302 of the Title 24. Are we are we planning on dropping like a little footnote in there to reference that or we could? I, I think it's helpful if we're gonna use quotations, we should probably put a little citation in. You could probably well, I don't know. One way to do that would be the link to the statute on the state website i mean if there's like a just we could put a drop a little hot link in there or something maybe. anybody have comments about this approach i like it I think we went over that language over and over again the past two meetings. And I think Mike was able to consolidate all the different ideas people were throwing around. Yeah, thanks. I, and I was gone for those meetings. Can I ask what's the, I'm trying to distill what the, what are we trying to say in the first bullet point, the accommodating growth in order to reduce the pressure to develop forests and farmlands? This so the planning context is trying to lay out our goals. Um, so it's it's kind of kicking off how, our, our laying out of our goals and what we're trying to accomplish in, in, in this case, natural resources. And one of our key points that the public doesn't generally see is that a lot of our protection of natural resources actually comes from accommodating growth. Accommodating growth in the urban core or the urban center, is that what Well, means? just accommodating growth within the city of Montpelier, mostly you know, anywhere. We have some rural lands, but really Montpelier is the compact settlement that protects the rural countryside. Um, and that's one of the points, because you know sometimes like we don't protect we don't regulate the protection of prime ag soils in the city of Montpelier. We're going to lose that. We're going to build on it here in the city because by building on our 
soils here within our boundaries and hooking to sewer and water and accommodating density were not were you know that development is not being forced out into East Montpelier and these other rural places where you know those ag soils are actually helping farms. And okay, farms. that makes that makes sense. And um, if I just might suggest the saying, I, I think adding growth, accommodating growth within the city to reduce development in forest and far, or in neighboring forest and farmlands. Within the city, yeah, it's just the the accommodating growth was is not sufficiently contextualized to help me understand. Uh, in order to accommodating, accommodating yeah. growth within the city in order to reduce the pressure to develop. I would just say to reduce, to, okay, to, yeah. to, to reduce the development in neighboring forests and farmlands. We're to did we want to reduce the pressure to develop or to reduce the development pressure? Um, I mean, isn't isn't the idea if you reduce the pressure, it actually reduces development? And they, like they're the same, right? The, the, the yeah, objective is to, is to reduce development, period, in neighboring communities. Ah, uh, right? uh, okay, reduce development. Do we want to have reduced development on farm and forest lands in our neighboring communities? Yeah, I think okay. that makes sense. Yeah. It's just the the reduced pressure, I don't understand what it means. You can just say to reduce development. I think it makes sense. Good. Yeah, give me. And I, would, and I would just say, instead of in order to reduce, I would just say common and growth within the city to reduce development on forest and uh, uh, to reduce development in neighboring forests and farmlands. I don't know, something like that. You could say forest land instead of forest to kind of make it consistent. Instead of saying on forest, I'm imagining people trying to build on top of trees. You could say development in the forest and farmland. Yeah, put the space, put the space down there. Forest and farmlands. If I separate farmlands into two words, sorry, I feel bad having been absent the last couple of meetings to kind of parachute in and do this stuff. Fine, it's totally fine. All right, that feel good. Uh, and I just, I'm sorry, the last bullet point, I would just take away, I would uh, delete through. Yep. Okay, so anybody else have any comments on, on this section? Are we good with this being on the website? Okay. We will get other bites at the apple at this one. All right. So now getting to the new stuff, arts and culture. All right. Well, actually, I don't know if somebody else wanted to take the take the controls of this one. Uh, sure, I, I can I can walk through and um, have people. Yeah, I can stop it. sharing if you want to open it. Okay.
Here we go. Arts and culture. Uh, so Maria's suggestion to have the word outwardly here. Popular's arts and cultural life represent the essence. I guess that makes sense. Um, anybody good or is everybody good with that? Okay. Um, I had some things down here. I did end up, yeah, capitalizing the C and city for pronouns for things. Um, Ended up, I mean, I don't know, this is, I'm going to start from the beginning. All right. Uh, I, I said saying, instead of saying Montpelier is known as a thriving artistic community, that sounds like a, a proclamation thing that I've been trying to avoid in these, like a, like a self proclamation thing. So I changed that to more of like strives to be a thriving artistic community. Um, we could use a different word beside, or a different verb there besides strives, but uh, what do people think about that? I like it. Okay. Um, so yeah, so in 2018, the city completed the end and I had not been calling it the art synergy plan, but art synergy was the group that was created that first put the plan together. Um, so to kind of, but the plan itself is called the public art master plan. Um, I mean, Mike, what are your thoughts on calling it the Art Synergy Public Art Master Plan um, or, or I, don't, I don't know, like, like, look, what's, what's a way to do this correctly, but also, you know, not make it sound like too crazy of a name? Yeah, I'd have to look at the title, but if Art Synergy is the company that made the Public Art Master Plan, then... I didn't know if that was how they named it with the art synergy master plan. It was, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where this, like who drafted this paragraph, um, the art synergy part. So this is, um, SE group has tried to use as much of our language as possible to pull these things together to make okay. these draft scripts. So this is probably this, it's something we gave them. Uh, we didn't give them art synergy. Um, like, cause I, I drafted that original thing and I was not definitely not calling it art synergy. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I might just cut that part out. Like I, I just thought maybe there was like an official like technical reason to call it that. Um, but I mean, the title of the public the title of it is the public art master plan. I double checked that this morning uh, okay. and it was drafted by something called art synergy. Uh, and then that plan created the public arts commission, um, which we now use to like put the, to implement the plan. Okay. Uh, so in 2018, the city completed the, public art master plan, which articulated the mission, vision, goals. This needs to be and, and goals. For public art in Montpelier, the plan. Also prioritized strategies and identified resources to aid in the placement, creation, and maintenance of public art. Uh, the commission subsequently created the city's first public arts. Okay, we don't need that. That's and that's not. Yeah, that was that piece was wrong because I I thought I made that correction, but maybe I didn't because I reviewed this before and I had the order incorrect when I first reviewed it. it said we created a public. Art Commission and they created the master plan and it's not 
we created the master plan and a recommendation of the master plan was to create a public arts commission, which is what we did afterwards. That good with people. Could the last sentence in that paragraph just be this chapter works in conjunction with the goals of the public art master plan? I like it. and supplements that plan and the work of the Public Art Commission. Wait, oops, okay, yeah. Uh, um, so I was guest user and we have a list for the map. So that's all that comment okay. was about. Okay. Do we need to keep that just for future reference then? Yeah. Just keep that. So that way okay. they know that's, that's coming. Uh, so this next part is just when I went through it, there was just a lot of ampersands all of a sudden. <laughs> And I'm like, are we are we doing ampersands now? Like, I, and I started to change some of them, but then there were so many. I was like, did I did I miss the memo, the ampersand memo, where we're doing this now? Just so, just to get clarity, like, do we want ampersands or do we want the word and? <laughs> any any opinions? <laughs> I think it depends on how it's how we we do it we just like you said we should be consistent and and sometimes it's the arts and culture plan or arts and culture chapter and they throw for the, the other in. for the other chapters that have and do we have another chapter that's and i mean just i'm not i mean this is Utility the first thing are we using ampersands there as well we weren't before yeah we'll just have to check to see to, for consistency but we can make the decision now that says we'll just use ands, and then if we if it comes up in the other one, we'll fix them. I'm I'm in favor of ands unless someone else has a different. I mean, I can see an ampersand. I don't know for like a branding thing. I don't know. Yeah, I sometimes use the ampersand only because a lot of times these chapters will come up in a list, so we might have, um, you know. Um, the transportation, housing, utilities, and facilities, and public safety plan. And you end up with the extra and in the middle because it happens to be utilities and facilities happen to be together. Using the ampersand kind of makes it a single unit. But I'm, I'm a, not the top English person for how we should be correctly putting these things together. I, I was thinking that way, like the most compelling reason to possibly use ampersands if we're doing it for some kind of branding style type, like some law firms use like a plus instead of an and. They're, I mean, like one of those things. Yeah. But, um, okay. Um, all right, so I skipped ahead of, so, so Maria had... I was just trying to open up that paragraph, the, or not the paragraph, open up that section and just say all of the different things that arts and culture are related to. Um, I think originally it was just economic development, but 
we then go on to include transportation and all these other things. I think uh, I think I I had done the first draft of that one, and I and I like had hoped to flesh out some more because I I kind of wrote part of it, um, but I yeah did not write a lot, so that's why I think it it was limited to that. Do we want to add content? Oh, um, it looks like there yeah there is some content added. I think there is. Um, good. Oh, so this one, this this where it says like in an unexpected way. I just flagged this paragraph because yeah, there this was in the original. This was in the original thing that we had had, and so originally it said the arts and culture plan relates with the transportation and utilities chapters by enhancing ordinary practical infrastructure to make it contribute to the aesthetic value of the city. The arts and culture plan calls for increased functional arts, such as unique bike racks and benches. Um, like I thought that that was like that was fine, but this so this paragraph was changed to like in an unexpected way. It's like that confuses me because it makes it sound like the city's confused about its own plan or something. Like I don't know. Um, I'm but, not a fan of the unexpected way either. So just I just want to juxtapose these to see if like if there's a version of this paragraph that we want between those. And I just wanted to ask if there are parts that people like of each one or or what we should do about this. I like yours, Kirby. Or sorry, the original version, I mean, what you have in the comment. Are people okay with replacing? Yeah, I like the original. No, can I? Okay. It might actually all be 11. Oh, we've got different font. <laughs> got Latin. All right, this is all going to get pulled into their thing anyways. This isn't a, a thing. This gets put into the storyboard, and they'll reformat it to whatever the storyboard format is. Instalato. Um, yeah, I'm just having a moment here. All right, all right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, I have a question here, and I think this is because I wasn't part of the um, discussion of this chapter, but as a person who owns an art studio in town, there's, there's Montpelier being a thriving artist community also depends on housing. <laughs> you know, people can't live here. So, and that there is one sec, one of the goals is to support, you know, maintain and improve the many independent studios, galleries, theaters. Is that done? Is that done through 
the planning department? Like who is supporting that? Well, I mean, we've got Montpelier alive. We've got the um, the Public Arts Commission. We do have staff, uh, Josh Strom, who's a, our community and economic development coordinator. He is, uh, he staffs the Public Art Commission. So um, there's that. There's also a number of other policies and programs that we do. I mean, Lost Nation Theater is hosted upstairs. They basically don't pay anything to be up there. So we've got um, small things like that. Using space, uh, the main lobby here has um, art space. Um, so we've got a number of larger and smaller things that, you know, now that we've got the art commission, we're trying to do more um, of these efforts. Okay. So the planning department doesn't really come in. Well, the I mean, Josh works for the planning department. Oh, okay. So he he is. Uh, so we don't want to add anything relating the two or anything. Are we good? Or did you did 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 you want to uh, link the chapters or anything like that, Maria? I don't know. It it's because the paragraph opens as saying that you know we're striving for my player to have an active artist community, but then. I guess we're trying to do that through hiring artists to provide public art. Is that the idea? A thriving artistic community. Through our, through our planning. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's, well, I mean, there, there's the arts and culture chapter, which has, it has a number of strategies for increasing the amount of art around but um this artistic community thing i don't think i don't think that was in what we originally had said uh although it's it's fine i think to include that here as a goal uh but that's that's not exactly as far as the purely the planning part of it uh what what we're like necessarily trying to do through planning i think like what mike was saying there's some things outside of the planning context that shows that montpelier tries to support art in other ways, like with Lost Nation and and various other things. But uh, it's a good question about like whether this plan is is tightly related to the artistic community itself. Yeah, I'm trying to remember back to what was in the plan, um, the, spe the specifics. I know there was some things in the art synergy plan wanting a you know an artist in residence and um, a couple of pieces similar to that. Um, and I think we had some of that conversation about the plan of you know what what is the focus. I mean, a lot of this is talking about arts, but we also talked about well what what about culture and you know how does that fit into everything. But I think one of the first pieces was Montpelier has, you know, we'll call ourselves out. We haven't been doing a very good job um, as a municipality when it comes to art. Um, there were a lot of private, you know, we've got the Savoy Theater, we've got Lost Nation, we've got um, uh, a lot of uh, other art studios that are out there, but the city itself wasn't doing a lot. Um, not like uh, Barry City, where you know you've got a lot of statues and monuments everywhere. It it was um, you weren't here, Maria, when we were talking about it. But you know, there's a thing in planning. There's a period of time in planning, which was about 1880s to about 1910, 1920, which was called the City Beautiful Movement, where cities all around um, the United States and all around the world 
really invested in, in public art and beauty. And that's where all the statues come in. If you look in other communities, you will see a lot of these statues and monuments, whether they're war monuments or uh, statues to certain figures, they all came out and they were all put up in the same period of time. It was a big movement. And for, for some reason, and somehow Montpelier got completely missed. Um, there's very little public art from the city beautiful movement that came out in Barry city. We can go in and show you the, uh, Burns Memorial and the um, the Youth Triumphant at in City Hall Park and uh, a number of things that came in, but in Montpelier we we really didn't have much and it was kind of surprising. And so this was kind of an opportunity to start turning the page and saying what what can we be doing now to start to get more public art um, that's public art uh, as opposed to uh, artists. And I think, yeah, here it goes. It, so aspirations, two aspirations. One, that targeting the public art thoroughly integrated in our urban landscape. That's what I was just talking about, that city beautiful, those uh, you know, public art in our benches. Um, Barry City has little gargoyles and dragons and stuff on their bike racks. Um, and the second one is to find out how, how to have a thriving studios, galleries, theaters, and other venues and recognize as a destination and home for artists. That was our second aspiration. So that's it's less about us as a municipality and more about us as supporting. And that's where you see four and five are supporting B. Those were the goals to maintain and improve the studios and to increase opportunities for affordable art courses for residents through programs at community services department and other departments. And these can all be improved um, if people see it, but these were mostly taken out of the public art master plan. Right. I mean, I'm making the point here that the aspiration is that this will be a home for artists, but nothing really touches on that. Yeah, making sure they're actually home, actual homes for artists. I guess a destination and home for artists. And Someone who I'm very tied into the artist community here, and it's not an easy place to live. Are we talking like purely because of the lack of housing or or something? Oh yeah, like no, for sure. Well, and also a lack of studio space too, right? Like all of this is tied to housing and real estate. That's why I was asking what the city does to further that aspiration. And it sounds like you do do some things for like Lost Nation. So it, it seems very piecemeal, but there isn't like a program to support it. Yeah, this is this is a new chapter. I don't know if you, if you knew that, but this is, you know. And I wasn't here for any of this part. So this is all kind of new. But, but I mean, if that gives you any idea about piecemeal planning in the past, I mean, there there wasn't a city, <laughs> there, there wasn't part of our city plan before. Um, so we're trying to change it from piecemeal to something more dedicated. And it's not just us, it's like, what what the public arts commission and the and the public arts master plan are doing is is more than what you know we've done so far but right. but we are trying to be part of that making it making it a concentrated you know kind of effort but it's not too late to take some of these um like goals and b and develop more strategies to include uh look at you know we can always, we can, uh, it's, it's not too late for us to, to add more. So if you have ideas now that you are here, Maria, and you have this background of knowledge, if you can take a look at what the, like, you know, the aspiration B is mentions a destination and home for artists. And if you're not seeing goals and strategies that, that help get us there, but there's, but there are achievable things that we could consider. Um, well, this let was us know. I'm oh, sorry, Kirby. I was just gonna say, yeah, just like let us know, and it's not too late for us to add more to this plan before we take it to the public. Oh, I was just saying, this is in terms of like the, um, going back to the synergies, um, that the housing section could be in synergy with the arts and culture section. Yeah, that was where I was kind of going with that. That they are related <laughs> because if you want artists here you need to fix the housing issue 
Yeah, we can do synergies, but I mean, I, I was kind of taking it broader than that too. To I know, say, yeah, you were going a bit yeah. deeper. Like, like because because we're developing this chapter in the first place, and like Mike just said a minute ago, most of our ideas came out of the Master of Arts or the uh, the Master Plan that that that's that's pretty new, uh, which is great because we want to make sure that what we're saying in the city plan is, you know, um, works works together synergizes with the other uh master plan but at the same time we're not exactly like like the city plan's a little bit broader and if we want to start putting stuff in there that's that links housing together that's probably beyond the scope of what they would have thought about for the for the public arts master plan but it's stuff that would would be i think within the scope for what we're doing so if those ideas exist we can try to um yeah, we can try to put it in there. So, so, yeah, I think what so Maria was ideas are well getting at. Yeah, Maria was just getting at maybe in that sentence we talk about economic to transportation, utilities, and facilities. Maybe housing should be one of those mm -hmm. mentioned as one of those chapters, and then we could add a comment. You know, one of the barrier one of the barriers to growing our arts community is the lack of housing and affordable housing or something to that effect. We can see up this plan. Oh, yeah, well, sure. I would also broaden that a bit more to housing and real estate shortage, because I know a lot of artists who can't find studio space. The like rough draft on the top of the head, but um, trying to link some of the things that you're talking about. Yeah, I think that sums it up. So I have to leave, unfortunately, but um, thank you guys for all your good work. I don't think you need me for the <laughs> adjourning, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, no, but thank you, Ariane, for pointing out that it's that time. We got a little caught up. Um, okay, let's let's all plan to get out of here. Um, yeah, I think that was it for the chapter. So, so yeah, that's that one wrapped up. So that's it. We'll consider that wrapped up. Uh, and um, I'm going to take a motion to adjourn and we can pick up the other items from our agenda at a later meeting. Uh, Do you want to you know we don't have we almost we almost made it through. Um, so do we have a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Motion from Ariane. Do we have a second? Second. Second from Aaron. Those in favor of uh, getting out of here, say aye. 
Bye. Bye. Okay. See you all at the next Thanks, meeting. Everyone.